Hi everyone, my name is Jesse Putnam and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'll be talking about the Property Summary tab, which is new to SolidWorks 2022, what it is, why it's useful, and how to access it. All right, let's get started. So here I have this pretty standard 90 degree elbow. I've made this in 12 different sizes and three different materials. So I've got 36 different configurations all in all. So I want to see how this new property summary tab can be useful to me. Now, what is this? Simply put, it's an inverse of the configurations properties tab that we had access to in older versions of SOLIDWORKS. It looked a little different in older versions of SOLIDWORKS, but it behaves the same way. I would specify a configuration, then I can see what custom properties are applied to that configuration. Now, if I go to the property summary tab, I can simply see all the custom properties that apply to my configurations, select one, and then go down the list to see its value in each of my configurations. Now, why is this useful? Well, let's take a look at my first custom property here, my description. I can go down this list of all the different configurations and whoop, I notice my three quarter inch size does not have a description. If I continue going down this list, I notice my three inch size does not have a description as well. So I can quickly and easily just add descriptions to both of these um, configurations without having to search for them in the configuration specific tab. I can do the same thing with the other custom properties. Looks like they all have materials. If I go down the part number list, I can see that there's a three inch and a four inch stainless steel configuration that do not have part numbers. So I'll add those real quick. I know what they should be. And finally, I'll go to my pipe size and I see that the half inch does not have a size. And two of my four inch elbows do not have pipe sizes as well. So that's one way that this property summary tab is super useful. But this new architecture for custom properties is only native to SOLIDWORKS files that were originally created in 2022 or later. Even if you created this part in an earlier version of SOLIDWORKS and then saved it into 2022 to update it, you would not automatically see this property summary tab, but there is a way to get that to show. And I'll go over that next. So I'm gonna switch over to the same file, but I created it in 2021 and then saved it in 2022. But if I go to my custom properties, you'll see that I only see the configuration specific tab in its original format, where I would have to specify configuration and then see what its values for its custom properties are. Now there is an easy way to update this. All right, I'm gonna close my custom properties, then head over to my feature manager design tree. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is right click on the top level part or assembly and then select upgrade custom properties. Now, as soon as you click this, you're gonna get this warning message. Now this new architecture does offer some great advantages, but it can cause issues with assemblies and drawings where the components are used. That's why it doesn't automatically update when you save a part file in 2022 that was created earlier. This operation cannot be undone. So it's a really good idea to save your files beforehand, maybe rename it something else, just in case when you do this upgrade, you're not getting the desired results in your drawings, your bill of materials, your derived configurations, things like that. I'll go ahead and hit okay. Go check on my custom properties and boom. My property summary tab is now available. My configuration properties tab updated to look like the new architecture, and I can go through my custom properties and make those updated changes if I wanted to. That's all, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment for me and let me know what videos you wanna see next.